In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll show you how to set up and use the official Supabase MCP server with your IDE. Show you how to do this with cursor and a quick demonstration there. So here's the current documentation for the model context protocol on supabase.com. And step number one is to generate a personal access token. This will be used to authenticate the MCP server with your Supabase account. So if I go to supabase.com and go to my dashboard, and then you can go to access tokens and click generate new token. I'm just gonna call it YouTube. And I'm gonna grab this token. It won't be available again. So I'm gonna put this into a text document and we'll, we'll be using this in a minute. So step number two is to configure our AI tool. Let's get started using cursor because most people might wanna use cursor, but then I'll show you this for Klein. So I've got a new project, like a new folder, nothing is in it. And by the way, you can get this source code on GitHub. I'll leave a link in the video description, as in like whatever we're about to create, um, you can find that on GitHub. So I'm gonna start by making this hidden directory called cursor, and then I'm gonna create a new file in there and it's gonna be called mcp.json, like this. And I'm gonna put this contents into the file. I'm on Mac, so this is what I'll put. But notice how this personal access token hasn't been set yet. So we're gonna to need to set that. Um, I'm actually gonna use cursor to do that. All right, so here's cursor. What we can do is go into the settings, cursor settings in the top right, down to MCP. And we should see this available because it's in our current working directory and we've configured it, but we just haven't enabled it yet. But I'm not gonna do that until I pat, um, set my personal access token. So I saved that over in this uh, text editor. So I'm gonna plug that in. And this is again, your authentication. It's the way of authenticating your like instance of this NPM library. That's what NPX does. It's like a one-off running this NPM library on your computer. And this is the Supabase server. Uh, for MCP. Okay, so back over an MCP server, now that I have this access token in here and that's saved, I'm going to enable this for the workspace. And we should see this uh, dot turn yellow. So it's it's kind of like running this command right now in, in order to spin up this server. And we're gonna wanna click refresh. Aha, okay, so now it's turned green, which means it's available. And we've access to all of these tools. Um, what's cool is we don't really need to worry about uh, running these tools explicitly. This is what the AI is gonna do for us. Uh, so let's close out of these and let's give this a shot. I'm gonna go into agent mode and I'm just gonna say, uh, make me a um, to-do list app. So notice I didn't explicitly ask to use Supabase, but I can see the agent responding with, okay, yeah, we're gonna do this using Supabase. And it starts asking me for tool calls. So I'll approve this one to list organizations and here's my organization that it's found and now i'm gonna it's gonna say okay well let's get the cost okay so it wants to cost it out for me and it's gonna cost zero dollars so this is the result of the mcp call um, on for the Supabase server and then it provides that back as context for the agent so it can keep processing okay so confirm the cost that's fine so now let's create a new Supabase project for a to-do list app. And it's trying to call this create project tool. So I'll accept that. Great. Now let's create our database schema for the to-dos table. Interesting, check this out. So it's running some SQL query. It's using this apply migration tool and it's running a, it's creating a to-dos table in my backend. My account does not have the privileges to access this endpoint. That's interesting. Okay, I apologize. Um, let me check to see if I need to wait. That's interesting. You know, did it even create a new project? I'm not sure. Okay, so now it's gonna start doing its regular cursor stuff. Yeah, here, so it's starting with create a package.json. So, um, well, that works. So let's go over to Chrome and see if we can actually um, observe this project that it's created. This is a little bit bigger and let's go back to all projects. So here's the to-do list app that cursor just made, AWS. US central one. And if I look at my, let's look at my database. So I don't have any tables yet. What I'm gonna do is just wait for cursor to finish up. You can see it's created this Supabase TypeScript file. And let's see, it's asking us to load some stuff from these, from our environment, from this Vite Supabase URL, Vite Supabase Anon key. Aha, okay, here we go. So it's just asking us right here to 
put these into an environment file and it's saying let me get the key for the Superbase project get a non key tool that's awesome all right so now it should be creating this environment file yeah there we go so this is my actual URL and uh, key so that I can I can actually talk to Superbase okay so we installed all our packages with npm and it seems it's saying it's done and we're good to go. Hey guys, just a super quick interruption to talk about my course, the AI Engineer Roadmap. If you go to zazencodes.com, you can sign up here and start tracking your progress towards learning AI engineering. You just sort of check off all these topics and you can research these at your own pace. If that's interesting, you should check it out. Now it wants me to try and run this. Okay, let's run it and let's open this up. Nice, here's my app. Um, all the things, error adding to do. Now I expected that because yeah, we don't we don't have any like database, right? I'm gonna copy this, just gonna kinda, can I see this object? Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna grab this right from my console, feed it right into cursor, see if I can just handle this. Right, so public to-dos does not exist. Yeah, we didn't actually create the to-dos table, which, which we knew. Um, so now it's going to try to do that again. Okay, it wants to apply migration. It's going to try and create this to-dos again. Change our row policies so we can add data for all users. That's cool. Okay, it looks like it's done. It's giving me its little AI summary here. So we can go back to our application, try and test this again. I'm not running it, however. Okay, let's do that from my terminal. So and I have all this code. <laughs> it's amazing, all this stuff was just created. Um, okay, so what I wanna do is do npm uh, start, I think. All right, cool. Okay, so here's my to-do list app. And what needs to be done is uh, finish filming this. To-do added. Um, wow, okay, uh, what else needs to be done? Um, go to the gym. And today, okay, uh, so I've added a couple items to my to-do list app. Let's go back to Superbase and look at my database. So now I can see I have this to-dos table with all these fields that we've created. Um, it seems some authentication is in place too. So, so now I'm gonna open this table up. Let's see if we can find these records. Now here's the two records that I just wrote. Go to the gym finish filming this. That's totally crazy. So if I look at authentication, there's no users in my project. Let's see if we can get some authentication working as well. Add an auth uh, login. This is crazy. We'll use Superbase auth to create a login signup system. I just realized we're using React. Like we're building this thing and I didn't even know what framework I was using. I'm a Vue developer, so um, I don't feel comfortable using React, but maybe in this new world, that just doesn't matter so much. Okay, while well, this is working, um, I'll show you what it's up to here. So we've created this auth component and we're using Superbase here. So we also have the concept of a Superbase user. Okay, it's asking me to apply a migration. Drop existing users, insert table access to all users, policy. Oh man, looks like it's done. All right, let's see what it did for us. So I'll go back to my app. So now when I, okay, so now I see this authentication screen. And I'll just create some password. Um, let's say admin one, two, three. Okay, sign up. Account created, check your email for verification. <laughs> oh man. Okay, if I go over to Superbase, I can see this user here, user ID, email, and last login, waiting for verification. But I haven't seen my, uh, I haven't seen my email come through. Maybe I'll, I'll send a magic, send a password recovery. Alex at Zazen Codes. Here we go. Oh, confirm my sign up. Okay, it was in my notifications folder. Crazy, reset my password. All right, let's do the reset password. And it looks like it just logged me in. I got a sign out button. Okay, let's try this flow again. I'm gonna sign out and I'll put in my email. And it was admin123. Okay, <laughs> I'm in. Apparently that's not a safe password, by the way. Wow, that's crazy. Totally crazy. Okay, if I go over to authentication, here, here where I was before, I was waiting for verification. If I refresh that now, I can see this user is signed in and we're cooking here. What? 
Um, what? I can, oh, wow, this is nuts. I can check these off? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I guess I gotta, oh, that's just crazy. This is just, this is just insane. Yeah, it's, it's great. It works great. And I guess whenever I check one of these off, it's presumably syncing with Superbase over here. Yeah, so there'll be um, some sort of way here is completed. True, true. Oh my God, it's crazy. Okay, let's just review what happened. So we all are on the same page. I just created a React project in this folder. All of these files are brand new. Cursor did all of this for, for me. And it integrated it with Supabase um, because of this MCP server. And the MCP server is in here. I, I installed it inside of cursor mcp.json, or rather I configured it there. And cursor runs this server. So inside of the settings, MCP, I'm running this Supabase server. It gives me access to all of these tools. And so when I ask make me a to-do list app, cursor understands that Supabase is in the context of its sort of thinking. And so it starts calling it right away and it says, okay, well, we're going to be using Superbase for this project, even though I didn't explicitly say that, which just blows my mind a little bit. Um, and so we start using this MCP server to communicate with it. Uh, we're getting like the project that we want to work in, uh, or rather this is my, this is my organization. And then we create a project and we start trying to create databases and then it starts creating the local React um, files for this to-do list app and this step was really cool it uses get a non key in order to actually set up my environment so that this actually works without me having to copy and paste you know environment files and stuff like that um, then I had some errors that it figured out no problem and it went ahead and created this to-do list table that is like the back end for my application and then I added authentication with one shot and that created me this this to-do list app here um, and all that's left is to finish uh, filming this video um, oh it died <laughs> and all of this created me an npm app so I can say npm start at, in order to run that and this is my to-do list app so I'm logged in but we I have authentication here can re-log in again. Let's so let's say I didn't do the wrong password. Yeah, so invalid login credentials, it's not gonna work. Admin, one, two, three, best password in the world. And uh, yeah, and um, and this is like an app that functions and is integrated with my Supabase database. Here's the final to-do list item. Wow, totally crazy. Okay, I'm gonna uh, commit this, I'll just, uh, I'm just going to add my node modules file to the git ignore. I should be able to add all this. Yeah. Okay. Finish uh, filming. Filming. And we're done. If you got this far, I'd appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. These small actions that you can take make a big impact for me here on YouTube. Okay, so raise your hand if that demonstration blew your mind, because um, for me it did. When I was playing around with this yesterday, I just like could not believe that I could just say something like add authentication and it just throws that up because authentic authentication is one of those things that's just really tricky. It's a total pain to set up. And um, what we just built in the last like literally half an hour uh, would have taken days, potentially days or at least a full day of like intensive work uh, before AI. It's nuts. And even before this MCP server, there would have been a lot of manual work, reading documentation, going back and forth between Supabase. And all that has now just been boiled down into a uh, command like add auth. <laughs> it's like crazy, totally crazy to me. Now, what I really love about MCP is how well it works for open source development. So I wanna show you a similar demonstration, but building a more interesting application where we render desktop wallpapers and we're able to save those. And this should use the storage feature of Supabase, which would be really cool. And I wanna show you this with Klein, which is an amazing open source IDE plugin for VS Code, which works really similar to Cursor. And if you want to see why Klein is so amazing, I'll leave a link to that video right here. Thank you for watching and namaste.